Today we are reacting to spaghetti, aglio e olio. A simple pasta. One of the most popular pastas. Made with three to four ingredients. Maximum. So let's see if those most popular videos on YouTube are teaching you the right way. Let's see. Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate. It's spaghetti alle olio reaction time! <laughs> the first video we are reacting to today is from Pop Sugar Food. 100,000 views, it's not a lot, but I want to watch this because 100,000 people are eating spaghetti alle olio the wrong way! Hey, we're here with chef and owner of Scarpetta Restaurant, Scott Conant. He's also the executive chef for the American Express and Terrain Lounge in Las Vegas. And Scott, I understand that you were... That plate is very sexy. Italy. What does the ali olio mean? Aglio, olio, garlic oil. Oh, cool. She's not Italian? I can't do this if she's not Italian. It's not Italian. So the one thing about this pasta, the rule number one is never cheese. I like this guy. Yeah. You can't put cheese on this pasta. Now, lots of people do. You can't really be upset. But you can't really put cheese on this pasta because it's a poor food dish. Even though we use extra virgin. In some countries, extra virgin olive oil is expensive. But extra virgin olive oil, it's part of Mediterranean cuisine. And it's, 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 it's come from the nature. It's the best olive oil that you can get on the planet. And it's not meant to be expensive. So I'm sorry if you live in countries where it is expensive. So you have to salt the water and it should taste like broth. That's what my mother used to tell me. Wow. You're not gonna argue with my mother, right? No, never. So it's good. Because that's gonna that's season good. the pasta. That's gonna that's gonna permeate the pasta and really make the pasta taste better. And then we're gonna cook the yeah, good. You have to use dry spaghetti for spaghetti agli olio. You can't use egg spaghetti. You need to use a dry pasta for this. All right, extra virgin olive oil. Very important. Plenty of oil goes in this. Once it starts to get a little bit warm. Okay. Alright, this guy is doing the right thing. Let's just see how he finishes off. He's doing the right thing. He's mixing it. The pasta water is very important. It's got a starch and it will help you to combine ingredients together. So you really have to pay attention when you're making this recipe. You can't just put in, okay, one cup of water, you're done. You have to see how oh, yeah. fast the pasta absorbs. Yeah, this pasta test. That's simple, easy, very nice. Okay, well done. Only 100,000 people watch this video. You deserve more views, guys. More views for you. Let's have a look at the next video, which is made by The Cooking Foodie. I never watch any videos. You're not meant to add parmigiano, eh? Remember what the guy said before? You can't put parmigiano in aglio olio. But anyway. We can't say anything for that because sometimes I do too. I like pecorino, to be honest. I don't like when I watch these videos and have Italian music like from the 50s, from the 40s. It's like if we still live in the 40s. You know, we listen to every music now. We listen to rap, house music, uh, jazz. We listen to South American music. I don't understand. You can't really make mistakes with this radio, is it? It's basically garlic, extra virgin olive oil, parsley, and you can add chili. This music is stressing me out, seriously. It's really stressing me out, this music. I feel like I'm watching The Godfather Part 4 and someone is about to get killed. Now, with the garlic, I like to use very, very finely chopped garlic or actually use the mince, the one that you can crush the garlic because um, I find it like it's, it's you enjoy it more because you don't have that chunky piece of garlic in your mouth. I don't like to have that chunky piece of garlic in my mouth. Yeah, mix, pepper. The garlic looks burnt to me, to be honest. The chili is nice when it's like this, but the garlic is burnt. I'm sorry, but that's not right. So when you're cooking the garlic in the extra virgin olive oil or butter, always add one spoon, tablespoon, or two tablespoon of water in there because it will stop the burning of the garlic. You don't want to burn the garlic, otherwise the flavor is not nice, you know? Because this music just stresses me out, honestly. It's, it's not bad, it's not bad, but it's stressing me out. Let's have a look at my friend Akis. He's a great guy. 2.2 uh, million people watched his spaghetti agli olio, okay? Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen. Let's listen to this. Friends, welcome back to my kitchen. Uh, today I will show you how to make one of the most popular Italian dishes, spaghetti all'olio. I love this dish because actually... Spaghetti aglio e olio. You have to put only five to six ingredients inside the... Spaghetti. 
garlic, extra virgin olive oil, chili. If you want, you can add anchovies when you cook it with the garlic, or you can add breadcrumbs at the end, no parmigiano. And that could be six ingredients. There's nothing else you can add. Oh, and parsley, sorry, seven ingredients. You need low heat to make proper spaghetti al olio. Now, it's right, low heat, very important. Otherwise you burn the garlic. That's a much better music. Yeah, I like this music, come on. And probably you think that this is a lot of garlic, but it's not. Garlic, you choose your preference, okay? It's your preference. I can't tell you how much garlic to use. Nobody can say. According to how much you like. I would say 100 grams of pasta, you use one clove of garlic. Of course, a large one, okay? If you have 500 grams of pasta, I use five garlics. This is a personal choice. And a good amount of time. He's building time. He's adding time to spaghetti aglio olio. They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine. And you're not really fine. <sighs> You can call it something else then, okay? Change the name. Call it spaghetti aglio, olio, thyme, and my flavors. Normally, spaghetti aglio, olio, there is no thyme, but I like thyme in this pasta. Can you see that? Low heat and let. And again, I don't like the chunky garlic. I like to chop, finally, 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 chop the garlic into pieces so you don't really have that chunky garlic in your mouth. Cooking water. Pasta water, extremely important. Pasta water is extremely, extremely, extremely important for this dish. God gave us herbs to cook them. So I will add some parsley and basil. Not basil, please. Not basil, parsley. And I like to use a nice amount like you are, very generous. But not basil. Basil doesn't go, basil has to go in your tomato sauce. Base pasta. You can't put basil in this pasta. No, you can't put basil in this pasta. You can't put basil in the spaghetti aglio olio. And of course, a good amount of grated parmesan. Why of course? Why of course? The original recipe doesn't have parmigiano. You put breadcrumbs as a parmigiano. It's a poor people food. There is no parmigiano. So don't say of course. Just say in the modern days you can add parmigiano, but the real aglio e olio has no basil, no thyme, no parmigiano. And it's a different dish if you take these three ingredients out. You know what I mean? I like when people give you the right information. Look at the parmigiano. Look how bad the parmigiano. Look how cheap the quality of parmigiano is. Look how cheap it is. Look, it's gonna become creamy now and stringy. Look at that. So easy recipe, but at the end, nobody can resist to this simple pasta. This is actually omami in a spaghetti. Now it's time to serve and have a lovely plate here. Must be so dry by now. Dry because the cheese absorbed all the, uh, all the fat. Nice kitchen, by the way. It smells so nice. Look how dry it is. Look how dry the pasta is. Look how dry it is. We'll add some more. Where is the oil? Where is the oil? Where is the oil? Why did you put parmigiano in there? Why did you do that? It's not a catch of paper. Right at the end. Parmesan. More parmesan. Where is the oil? It's aglio e olio. It's not aglio, olio, parmesan, basil and thyme. More basil. No, sorry, sorry. You, you don't pass the test, Agis, I'm sorry, man. You just ruined it, it completely dish right at the end. All right, completely ruined it. Okay, let's watch my video now, Spaghetti Aglio Olio, because I make mistakes too. People have judged me for, for this. Let's watch it together. This is how I like to make it. That's how my family does it. Let's watch it together, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, today we're making Spaghetti Aglio e Olio. So the classic Spaghetti Aglio e Olio was made with just extra virgin olive oil, garlic and also parsley. These are the ingredients. Extra virgin olive oil, garlic, parsley and chili if you want to add extra chili. Some people like the chili. Now the parsley it's optional but it's best to use the parsley. It makes it more, it gives more flavor to the parsley and use the stock. Use the stock from the parsley. So you can actually use a, a peeler, a garlic peeler, 
to do it. See, I like to use the garlic crush. I like to crush my garlic because, like I said before, I don't have that garlic slice in my mouth. So I'm really enjoying eating my garlic when it's kind of, it disappears in the dish I'm having, you know? It's there, the flavor is there, but the, the pieces of garlic disappear, okay? We don't want to burn the oil and we don't want to burn the garlic, of course. Look how important the extra virgin olive oil is. Look at the color of the extra virgin olive oil. It's the main ingredient. You need to be very generous. You need a lot of it. The pasta needs to swim. Eat the extra virgin olive oil. Use a lot and slow, low, 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 low heat. You don't want to burn the ingredients. So I'm using about five to six tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. I think I lied, I lied there. I didn't use six tablespoons. I used a lot more, guys. I used a lot more, and that's what you need to do. Put the garlic in there, like crush it in there, and have a nice creamy garlic. This will take no time to cook, see? And use as much garlic as you like, okay? Nobody's telling you how much to use. After about three or four minutes, I would recommend you to get some pasta water and put it in there. So this way we avoid to burn the garlic and also we help to make the pasta creamier. See how simple this is? Add a little bit of water so you don't burn the garlic. What I said about pasta being creamier, Guys, I don't know what I was thinking. I made a mistake. That's not right. It's not creamy. This pasta is not creamy. There's no cheese in there. Um, I don't know why I said creamy. I just uh, apologize for my English. Okay, as you can see, the pasta is beautiful and al dente. It cooked for about eight minutes and a half. And what I do now, I start adding the pasta in the So I, I cooked it less so I can finish it off in the sauce, you know? So the starch now will go in the saucepan and we'll make it creamier. And we are finishing to cook it in the pan, okay? And now we start to mix the pasta. And as you can see, you need to keep stirring it because you don't want an even uncooked pasta. You want pasta to be perfectly cooked. Yeah, you need to stir at this point. You need to stir and you want the pasta to stay also nice and smooth and then you have to serve it straight away. You don't want to do what Akis did. I don't know how long that pasta was sitting there for. It was too dry, way too dry. So my friends, at this point you want to add beautiful sauce right on top. See how important it is to add the sauce? You got the oil, which is your only sauce. You need to put it on top. You need to, you need to give the extra flavor now to the pasta. Add it, put it into the plate. You need the oil into the plate. No raw oil. You want to use the oil from the saucepan. For the lovers of chili, this is the time, guys, where you want to put beautiful chili. Okay. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. The reason why you need a lot of extra virgin olive oil in the pan is because the, the pasta absorbs a lot of oil, okay? As you can see, all the oil is gone. There's not much left. So you use a lot. Don't, don't, don't be a tight ass. This is how you make spaghetti aglio olio e peperoncino. Look how fantastic this pasta is. Nice and creamy, which is what you want. Again, I said creamy. <laughs> I said creamy again. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I have to say, this uh, video reaction um, didn't feel like the videos were bad. Most of the videos were okay. Akis didn't really do a great job at the end by adding the cheese. Uh, the first guy did a good job. Um, I think I did a good job, but we can always improve. We can always, always improve. Um, and we, we can put our own twist, our own touch, but just try to keep that intensity alive, okay? I want my son to be able to enjoy this pasta the way it was enjoyed 100 years ago, okay? So, thank you so much. We will see you on the next video reaction, on the next Vincenzo's Plate video. Please subscribe and see you on Instagram. Oh, yeah.